When modeling a sewer system, you may want to ensure that solids are flushed out of the system. In other words, you want to make sure that the system is self-cleaning. In this short video, I will show you a way to use the Track to Force feature to quickly assess this. This feature is primarily used with the SewerCAD solver, but starting with the Connect Edition release, it is now available in the Implicit solver in both Sewer Gems and Civil Storm. Target tract of stress values can be specified globally in the calculation options or locally for the individual conduit or channel. The program calculates the available tract of stress for each conduit and channel and reports if the target value is exceeded for the current time step or for any time step. In this example, we will just use the single global value. To set this, open up the calculation option properties, which is already here, and find the attribute tract of stress global minimum. We're going to set this to 0.87 pascals, which is a typical value. The value you will use to build depend on the system. Tract of stress targets can also be added on a per pipe basis with the use local minimum tract of stress field, which you can find in the properties dialog here. Once we have done this, we'll compute the model. We'll close these windows. You can look at the results on an individual basis in the conduit properties or the flex tables, but you can also use color coding to get a good visualization of where pipes are self-cleaning. In the element symbology window, right-click on the conduit and choose new color coding. For the field name, find the tract of stress target ever exceeded option. We'll initialize, we'll see the values listed in green it will be true, values in red will be false. Go ahead and click apply and then OK. And now back in the drawing you can see the areas where the tract of stress is going to be higher than the, uh, the value that we entered in for the global value is going to, is going to be highlighted in green. The values where the tract of stress is lower than that is going to be highlighted in red. Basically, that means the areas that are highlighted in red are not don't have enough tract of stress in order to be self-cleaning. You can also look at individual values by highlighting the element. You see, I've already filtered this to look for tract of stress. You can see what the calculated stress value is here. In this case, it's 0 0.24, which is lower. But in one of the green pipes, you see it's 4.2, which is higher than the value we entered. Starting with the Connect Edition, Tractive Force can also be used as a design constraint, whereby the program will size the pipes to meet the minimum Tractive Force, along with other design constraints. Information on Tractive Stress and much more can be found in the Hydraulics and Hydrology section of Bentley Communities. Thank you for your time.